Chapter 8. The Importance of Saying No. Consumer Culture and the Paradox of Choice. Consumer culture is all around us, constantly urging us to buy more things, seek out more experiences, and pursue more relationships. It suggests that the more choices we have, the happier we'll be. But the author of this chapter questions whether this belief is actually true. They introduce the idea of the paradox of choice, which is a fancy way of saying that having too many options can make us feel overwhelmed and unsure. Imagine standing in front of a massive wall of ice cream flavors at the grocery store. Instead of feeling excited about all the choices, you might start to feel stressed because you can't decide which one to pick. This feeling of anxiety and indecision can actually make us less satisfied with whatever choice we end up making. So, while consumer culture tells us that more options equal more happiness, the author argues that having too many choices can actually lead to unhappiness. This idea challenges the idea that constantly seeking out more is the key to fulfillment. Instead, the chapter suggests that committing to fewer choices might actually lead to greater satisfaction and peace of mind. Avoidance of commitment. Avoiding commitment is like avoiding making big decisions because you're scared of missing out on something better. The author talks about how they used to do this in their own life, avoiding committing to relationships, career paths, or even where to live. They were afraid of making the wrong choice and missing out on better opportunities that might come along. This fear of missing out makes people hesitant to commit to anything. They think that by keeping their options open, They'll have more freedom and flexibility to change their minds later. But in reality, this fear often holds them back from truly experiencing life and finding fulfillment. For example, someone might avoid committing to a romantic relationship because they worry there might be someone better out there. Or they might hesitate to choose a career path because they're afraid they'll regret it later. This fear of making the wrong choice can lead to indecision and a lack of direction in life. Overall, the author suggests that avoiding commitment can prevent people from fully engaging with life and experiencing its rewards. It's like standing on the sidelines instead of jumping into the game. Depth Vs. Breadth of Experience. Imagine life as a big buffet with lots of different dishes to try. When you're young, it's like you're at that buffet for the first time, eager to taste everything. You want to try all the different foods to see what you like. This is what the author calls the pursuit of breadth of experience. It's about exploring a wide range of things to figure out what you're interested in and what matters to you. But as you get older and wiser, you start to realize that not everything on the buffet is equally delicious or satisfying. You begin to discover your favorite dishes, the ones that truly make you happy and fulfilled. This is where the depth of experience comes in. Depth of experience is about committing deeply to a few key priorities in your life. It's like choosing your favorite dish at the buffet and going back for seconds and thirds because it's just so good. By focusing on what truly matters to you and investing your time and energy into those things, you can experience a deeper level of satisfaction and meaning. For example, instead of trying to juggle a dozen different hobbies, you might decide to focus on one or two that you're really passionate about. Instead of chasing after every new opportunity that comes your way, you might choose to commit to a specific career path or relationship. Ultimately, the chapter suggests that true fulfillment comes from going deep rather than wide. It's about immersing yourself fully in the things that bring you joy and meaning, rather than spreading yourself too thin trying to do it all. Embracing Commitment Think of commitment like choosing a favorite book to read or a favorite game to play. When you really get into that book or game, it becomes more enjoyable and meaningful because you're fully invested in it. You're not constantly thinking about other books or games you could be reading or playing, you're focused on the one you've chosen. Similarly, the author shares stories from their own life where they've embraced commitment. For example, they talk about sticking with a single career path instead of constantly jumping from job to job. By committing to their career, they were able to focus their efforts and achieve success. The author also discusses the importance of maintaining long-term relationships and nurturing genuine friendships. Instead of always looking for something better or more exciting, they chose to invest in the people who truly mattered to them. 
This commitment to their relationships brought them a sense of stability, support, and fulfillment. Overall, the author's message is that commitment isn't something to be feared or avoided, it's something to be embraced. By committing to the things that truly matter to us, whether it's a career, a relationship, or a friendship, we can experience a sense of freedom and liberation. Commitment provides us with clarity, direction, and purpose, allowing us to focus on what's truly important in our lives. Freedom through commitment. Imagine you have a bunch of different paths you could take in life, different jobs to pursue, different places to live, different people to spend time with. It can feel overwhelming, right? You might worry about making the wrong choice or missing out on something better. But what if I told you that by committing to one path, you could actually feel more free and fulfilled? That's what the author is saying in this chapter. When you commit to something, a career, a relationship, a goal you're saying, this is what's important to me, and I'm going to focus on it wholeheartedly. By letting go of other options and distractions, you free yourself from the anxiety of constantly wondering if you're making the right choice. Instead of spreading yourself thin, trying to juggle a bunch of different things, commitment allows you to channel your energy and attention into what truly matters to you. This focused approach can lead to greater success, fulfillment, and happiness in the long run. So, rather than feeling trapped by commitment, the author suggests that it actually brings a sense of liberation by choosing what aligns with your values and goals, you can experience a newfound freedom to pursue what truly matters to you. Overall, the chapter encourages readers to reevaluate their approach to commitment and recognize its potential to unlock a deeper, more meaningful life. By embracing commitment and focusing on what truly matters, individuals can experience a sense of freedom and fulfillment that goes beyond the superficial pursuit of more.